I'm getting involved with this spring. 524. <laughs> You're fully invested. Yeah, we're invested. We're wearing our florals. You should um, see what she does when it hits summer. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying, we, in summer, we need to be wearing Hawaiian like, clothes. Like, we're going yeah. all out. It's going to be amazing. Everybody came in today with bright colors, yeah. flowers. It's like all of a sudden, I we're like. I got a new dress for the first day of spring. The okay? hope is here, my friends. And I got even better news for you. The trends are just continuing to go up and up. We made it to 50 degrees today. That's two degrees above average for okay. this. Day. We've had a great day today uh, after that chilly start in the 20s. But the key there is that average high is 48 degrees because here's where things go over the next four months. April 20th, our average highs are in the low 60s. Then we go to the low 70s in May. Then the low and mid 80s for June and July. Mid-July is our warmest point of the year. So friends, we are just four months from that. Things are going to be trending in the warmer direction. That's the longer range. The shorter term, we're kind of going back a couple degrees. We are headed into the overnight. So we're going to taper it back into the upper 30s through the rest of the evening. And tomorrow morning, I think we'll be off to a great start. We have a nice air mass change that is taking place. The southerly breezes bringing in that warmer air, which has helped us out through the day today. We're still sitting in the mid and upper 40s right now. We've enjoyed abundant sunshine, and we do have high pressure that is in control right now. But out to the west, our next series of storm systems are lying up and yes once again it's that west coast push that is going to send some energy into the central part of the country and that will fire up storm systems for us we are very much on the storm track as we head through the latter part of this week and watch how this all starts to come together first big chunk of energy comes from denver it's going to emerge into the central plain states tomorrow morning and as it does so it will start to fire up rain showers maybe even some thunderstorms in the plain states but by wednesday morning at 8 a.m you can see now we have scattered showers in our forecast. That's just the beginning of the rain chances that are coming our way. That same storm system as it starts to go to the northeast up into eastern Canada will uh, eventually draw a cold front into the area. That will lock us into rain and maybe even thunderstorms for Thursday before we take a little step back. Temperatures slightly cool on Friday as another big surge of energy comes into the Plain States and sends yet another rainmaker to us by Saturday with rain and thunder in the forecast. So we have a, several waves of rain that will be working their way through Northeast Ohio, especially later in the week. But tomorrow we have another gorgeous day right back into the 50s in your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. We'll start with sun, but you'll notice the high clouds first, then the clouds start to thicken up and increase in the afternoon. The southwest wind should be relatively light. I mentioned that every Every time we're going to get one of these, you know, surges, we will take a little bit of a step back and you can kind of see how that starts to set up. Temperatures in the low and mid 50s here for uh, Wednesday and then we get right back into the 60s on Thursday. That's that first big push coming at us in your union home mortgage forecast. Friday we take the step back, then the next surge of rain will come our way as we get into Saturday. Temperatures holding in the low 50s. By the time we hit Sunday, especially later in the day on Sunday, we're going to bring in that cooler air and yeah, the rain still sticking with us even into Monday.